Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Stitch Designs with me Sylvia. Today is a stage day. In today's video I'm going to show you this beautiful pattern which can be used for many many different projects and I have done really cute top with this pattern. Also a beautiful cocoon cardigan and I would love to use this pattern for many many different projects in the future. So let's get started. So for today's tutorial I will be using uh, this yarn but you can use any yarn you like or prefer. I will be using this really cute pink color with a little bit of sparkle if you can see on camera. So it's a DK weight yarn and with this yarn I will be using 4 millimeters hook. I done this pattern with the DK yarn as well. And you can use Aran yarn. I think just experiment and you will see what you like. If you're gonna work on your top, you can use cotton yarn because cotton is really, really nice on your skin. For example, if you want to work on blankets, you can use DK or Aran yarn. And if you want to work on the back, you can use macrame cord as well many many different ideas with this beautiful pattern so first we are going to start with the magic ring hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook and go back under this one here so go back like so and pull through the loop you had on your hook and this is your magic ring now this chain is not counting as your first chain now we are going to chain five let me just hold it this way so this tail is not in the way so now we are going to chain five one two three four and five do not chain your chain too tight and this chain of five is counting as your first double crochet and your corner so once you have your chain of five we are going to place two double crochet inside this magic ring to do so you are going to yarn over insert Bring it up three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and we need one more. So we have two double crochet. Next, you are going to chain three for the next corner. One, two, and three. Again, you will place two double crochet inside this magic ring. one and one and two and next chain three for the next corner one two and three as you can see this was this is our first corner and then we place two double crochet chain three for the second corner now you can close your ring a little bit so the gap is not too loose as you can see this is the bottom part of our square we chain three for our third corner and now we are going to place again two double crochet in the magic ring so one and two and chain three one two and three and now as you can see have a look 
we have first corner, second and third, we chain three. And to close this square, we are going to place only one double crochet here. As this chain of five will behave as our double crochet and the first corner or last corner as we went all the way around. So now count one, two and three and into the third chain, insert yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop you had on your hook. And this is how you are going to slip stitch. Now you are going to close it like so, so pull this yarn and like so. So we completed this little square, which is our first round. Now for the second round, first we need to slip stitch into this corner. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through like so. And now we are ready to start round two. For round two, you are going to chain five again. Make sure it's not too tight because we'll be working into the base of this chain of five. From now on and always for every round, you will always start with the chain of five. One, two, three, four and five. And this will always behave as your first double crochet and your corner. Now we are going to place two double crochet into the same corner here. One and two. And every round will start exactly the same. So you will always chain five. This chain of five will behave as your double crochet and your corner once you go all the way around as we did in here. So these patterns go two rounds repeat this second round and the next one. So round two and three will be your repeat round. So the only difference will be in this round two, your, you will be placing six double crochet. But these six double crochet will be next to each other. For round three, they will be slightly separated. I'll show you in a second how to do it. So for this round two, we have done chain of five and then we placed two double crochet in this corner. Now, as you can see, you have one double crochet here and one double crochet here. When you look from the top, you have You'll be here and be here. So we'll be placing one double crochet in on top of this double crochet. So as you can see, like so. So I will place double crochet here and on top of this second one. So I have one, two in this corner. Then I have one, two on top of these two double crochet. And into this corner, we will place two double crochet. One and two. So now we have six double crochet. One, two in this corner, one on top of this double crochet, one on top of this double crochet, and two in this corner here. For the corner, you will chain always three. So now this is our second corner and you will do exactly the same what we did here. So you will do it on this side, this side and then on this side. So again, place two double crochet in the corner. Your corners will be always the same. Two double crochet, two double crochet, chain three and two double crochet. So this will not change. That's how you're going to work all the time. 
as you can see, we are on this side now and we are going to do exactly what we did here. So we have these two double crochet. So I need one double crochet on top of this one and one double crochet on top of this one. And then I will place two double crochet in this next corner. One, two, and two double crochet into this next corner. So we done exactly the same what we did here. Now I am in the corner, so we already know we are going to chain three and place two more double crochet into the same corner. One and two. So I am on my third side and again, I am going to repeat exactly the same. So I want two double crochet. So we already know we are going to place one double crochet on top of this one and one double crochet on top of this one and then two in the corner. One and two. Chain three because we are creating our one, two, three, fourth corner. And again, place two more into the same corner. One and two. We have still two more double crochet here. So we already know we'll place one double crochet here and one double crochet here. And this last side will be always a little bit different. But this is the way how you always going to finish your every round. So now I have one, two in this corner, three, four on top of these two. So I have four and I need one more to complete my set of six double crochet. As you remember, this first chain of five is behaving as my corner and my double crochet. So we will include this chain of five as our last double crochet. So I need one more double crochet to have set of six double crochet. Now there are two ways how to do it. First way is that you will go into this space and simply do double crochet like this. So you will have one, two, three, four, five, and this one will be your sixth double crochet once we slip stitch but i want to show you one more way how to do it and you choose the way you like or prefer so as i said at the start do not chain your chain of five too tight because we will be working into the base so if you prefer this method you can just simply go at the base of this chain of five and insert your hook like this and work your last double crochet like so. So I just wanted to give you two different ways how to do it and which way you prefer, you can use it. So I have placed my fifth double crochet. Now I'm going to count one, two, three, and into this third one, I am going to slip stitch like so. So I will pull this chain of five closer and this will be my sixth double crochet, like so. So one, two, three, four, five, six. To start the next round, you will slip stitch again into this corner, like so. And we are ready to start round three. And this round three will be a little bit different and I will call it moving round because we will move our set of six double crochet a little bit. We will have a little gap. So as I said, we will always start every round the same. Chain of five, one. And remember, don't make it too tight because if you decide to work into the base of this chain of five, to work your fifth double crochet, you may need to have it loose, otherwise you won't squeeze your hook in it. So one, two, three, 
four and five. And again, we will start with two double crochet into the corner as we did in round two. But now as it is our moving round, we will do something a little bit different. And as I said, this pattern is two rounds repeat and we will be repeating round two, round three and so on. So every other round will be this round and every other round will be this one, round three. So we have chain of five, which is counting as our corner and double crochet. And then we place two double crochet in this corner. Next, we are going to chain two, one and two, and we are going to skip two. Make sure you move these two double crochet a little bit so you can see your first stitch here. So we will skip this one and this one. So one and two, we chain one and two, and into this third one here, you will place double crochet on top of this double crochet. So we will have our double crochet like so. So we have one, two, chain two, skip two. And now we can place our six double crochet. So one double crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. And then we will place two double crochet in this corner. So we will have six double crochet next to each other again. But in this round, it's a little bit different because we started with two, chain two and skip two. So now, as you can see, I place my first double crochet here into the next one, will be the second one, into the next one, will be the third one, then into the next one, fourth one. So I have one, two, three, four on top of these four double crochet, as you can see, and last two double crochet will be in this corner. So one and two, like so. So now you will have six double crochet, but they moved a little bit. That's why I will be calling this round three moving around because we move them a little bit because we have this gap here at the start. So remember, you always start every round exactly the same. Chain of five and two double crochet in the corner. And this will be your first double crochet and your corner. And once we go all the way around, we will include this last double crochet into the set of six. So we are going to do exactly the same on this side, this side, and we will finish here. So as you already know, we chain three for the next corner and we will do two double crochet into the same corner. So the corners are always exactly the same for every round. Two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. This will never change. So again, what we did here, we created this space. So we need to chain two, one and two, and we need to skip two. So make sure you move it a little bit. Look from the top so we can see nicely. So this is my first one and second one. And we will skip these two and we will place double crochet into this third one here. So double crochet here and then one here, one here and one here. So one double crochet into these next three stitches. So one, two, three and four. So we have four and then two in this last corner. So one and two chain three, one, two and three, and two double crochet into the, two double crochet into the same corner. So as you can see, we done exactly the same here, what we did here. 
The only change is that we have this space. And as you get bigger and bigger, you will get more of these spaces, but they will move every other round. They will move slightly. That's why I'm calling this round three moving round. So I will do this side and then we will finish this side together. This is my first side, second one, and the third one. And I'm going to show you again how to finish it. So you will do chain of two, skip to one and two, place one, second one, third one, and fourth one here. And as you remember, I said you can do it two ways to place your fifth double crochet. So you can go into the base or you can go here. This time I'm going to do it here just to show you. It looks exactly the same. So not to worry too much about it. So again, one, two and three into the third one. Insert and slip stitch like so to complete your set of six one two three four five and we included this one as well so we have all together six insert your hook slip stitch one more time to get ready for the next round so we have done this round three and for round four we will repeat this round two so round four, but we're repeating this round two. So we will have six double crochet next to each other. Yeah, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And again, we already know this is our double crochet and our corner. Again, second rule is always start with two double crochet in the corner so chain of five and two double crochet in the corner always the same now as we said we're repeating this around two so we want six double crochet next to each other so we have one two now we have these two so we will place double crochet here on top of this one double crochet here but now we came to this gap, so not to worry, as we want all these six double crochet next to each other, we will place two double crochet into this space. So one and two, like so. So we have this chain of five, which will be our last double crochet and the corner. And then we have one, two in this corner. And then we place one double crochet on top of this double crochet and one double crochet on top of this one. And then we needed to fill this gap. So we place two double crochet in that gap. So we could have six double crochet next to each other because we are repeating this around two. So now we are going to chain two and we are going to skip two. And we are going to place first double crochet here then next double crochet on top of this next one. Then we will have here and here as well. And now into this corner, you are going to place two more double crochet. So as you can see, now you have again six double crochet next to each other and this gap will move us as well for the corner we already know one two and three and two more double crochet into the same corner and now we will repeat exactly what we did here so we want six double crochet next to each other. So we need to place one double crochet 
here, one double crochet here, and two double crochet because we change to skip to two double crochet here, like so. So they are next to each other. So two double crochet here, one double crochet on top of this one, one double crochet on top of this one, and two into this gap to fill it in. And that's what you are going to do for each side, repeating exactly what we did here. So I will finish this side with you. Chain two, skip two, and place one double crochet into the next four double crochet, like so, one, two, three, and four, like so, and two double crochet in the corner to have again six double crochet next to each other. And we already know each corner is exactly the same. Two double crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, and two double crochet, like so. Now you are going to do this side, and once we get here, I show you how to finish it again. finishing here so I have one two three four and I need fifth one can go into the base or inside this corner whichever way you like count one two three into the third chain insert and slip stitch two include this chain of five into this set of six double crochet. So this will be our sixth double crochet. Insert your hook and slip stitch one more time to start next round. So in this round, we repeated this round two where we have six double crochet next to each other with this extra space on each side. As you go bigger and bigger, you will have more of these spaces on each side. Now, for round, for round five, we are going to repeat round three. So this one, as you can see now, this round three starts with double crochet, then chain two, skip two, and then we will have set of six. So you will see as we work that every other round is, we will repeat this round three and every other round we will repeat this round two. So as we are repeating this round three, for round five, again, you know the rules, one, two, three, four, and five, chain of five as always, our double crochet and our corner. And again, place two double crochet as we do for every round. But as we are repeating this round three, we are going to have only two double crochet. And now we are going to chain two, skip two and continue. So we will have Six double crochet next to each other. So you will always have six double crochet next to each other, but for round three and five, so every odd round you will start always with two first 
chain two and skip two but for every even round you will start straight away with six so they are next to each other as you can see let me just show you so this round two was here and this round three you see we started with two chain two skip two so this was our round three which we repeated in round five so i will show you this last round and then you will continue working on your project and you will be working for as many rounds as you need so chain two skip two one two into the third one one two three and four remember always have six double crochet next to each other you need that group one two and three for the corner turning two more for this corner and as we are working on around five we know this first two double crochet need to be separated with chain of two and skip to one two and continue one two Three, four, five, and six. Always count. Chain two and skip two. Chain three and continue. So I have done this two sides with you. You finish this and then. I show you to the next and I am finishing here and I have this fifth double crochet to do here count three one two and three slip stitch like so and one more slip stitch to get ready for the next round so as you can see now we have completed this around five and we repeated this around three so my next round round six i will again repeat this around two or four okay and as you get bigger and bigger you will have more of these spaces on each side as you can see and that's how you are going to work on your project for as big as you like so please if you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch design for more ideas from me sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias i am on facebook pinterest instagram and tiktok thank you very much for watching